35, then you know how your dynamics scene should work. Scene number 55 and scene number yeah. 30, yeah. Yeah, means like, you know, you're playing age yeah, 55 age, uh, to age. 60. Uh, age age 55 to 60. Years. And because I, I don't know how many people have seen the show. So, you know what I'm talking. So, we age in this show. So, we were shooting, you know, in a, one day we were shooting the old also, we were shooting the young girls. So, we had to keep that thing in your head that, okay, uh, you have to be prepared for the space at that time. And then, so I I normally prepare myself in such a way where uh, uh, the internal process is there, emotional truth I carry with all my sequences. But I have to, uh, you know, like physical, that whole continuity of it, you know, because how she is aging, uh, uh, so what was what, the age group from where to where you had to reach? We were around 35 to 58 to 90. 60. 60, yeah. Okay. yeah. So 35 to 60, that was a, a 20 year of thing, 22 year of period we were shown. So, um, so yeah, like, you know, the physical uh, continuity. Uh, and I always make a point that, uh, you know, what happens in between? Uh, even the pauses, even there are no line, or uh, what are what exactly she's saying in that? Even a look, because camera is on you over here, so you you cannot lie to the camera. Like I mean, in theater, you can always make a little more gesture, and still you can convey a, a scene. Uh, but when it comes, the camera is on you, like your. It's you have to imagine that there are certain things is happening. Like we do imagine it. Do you do imagination exercises? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, like creating something just like, okay, you opened a bottle and you're drinking a water and everything. Yeah, any any particular thing. So it's exactly when your camera is here like this, you have to kind of start imagination, uh, use your imagination exercise over there where you are actually feeling everything, but not fully. But not? Fully. fully, like you cannot go, like it happens, like, you know, because it paints, it, the, the, the show and the work was very difficult for me, it took a toll on me mentally, physically, emotionally, but then as an actor, it's very important that, okay, you're there, not fully, come back to it, breathe in between, because you know you have to prepare yourself for some other battle, so, I don't know if I'm no, answering no, I think, your I question. No, no, I think also Anna. 33 to 60 is a difficult age uh, physically to make. It's not much of a, uh, I'm coming back again to my film because I was twin, I, according to me, I thought 65 year old man will be like this. Yeah. I'm 67 now. I don't look like that old man at all. <laughs> yeah. 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 But my imagination was there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, How old were you that time? 28. Wow. Yeah, it, That's uh, what I, I kept seeing, like, because I've seen my mother, uh, you know, how she changed or, like, you know, how she mm, had a little that was visible, huh? and everything and how she walked. I think that I observed a lot. Yes. Uh, and I'm, I'm basically a very observer person, so I, I know whom I have to, you know, keep, a, keep as a memory bank and right. portray for my other characters. So I'm right. always a, you know, taker. You had a... Uh, you had everybody was, uh, it's happened uh, say about 26 years back, this tragedy. Mm -hmm. I remember where I was exactly, I think all of us, it's like uh, that 2611 or it's like 911. Mm -hmm. Similarly, Uptupar was that like that. Mm -hmm. And were you looking consciously for actors who looked like Krishna Murthy's or who behaved like, because I, you made mm -hmm. me speak to Mrs. Krishna Murthy on FaceTime. Sure. And there was a lot of uh, yeah. resemblance in her case. I did not get to see Mr. Krishnamurti. Um, I, you know, I think that's a slippery slope. You know, you can go very far with prosthetics and uh, mimicking the actor and sort of trying to embody the physical aspect. That's definitely a concern. But I didn't think that we should prioritize it and we discussed yeah. it. it. That's not what is the essence of those two people. So the other thing is that these, uh, these guys had to do some really difficult stuff, very primal feelings. I mean, the experience of losing a child, it's not something that's imaginable. It's not something that it's a, there's no word for a parent who's lost a child in any language. You know, there's, uh, because it's unimaginable. So if you're asking an actor to do that, 
you don't really want them to be thinking how would the Krishnamurtis react in this situation because the audience will feel it. You want them to be free and to, to, to embody that moment. Uh, so it's, it's a delicate balance. Obviously, you know, the, you know, and they were both very proactive with working with the makeup team and kind of, and the, the costume team to kind of own it a little bit and own their transformation. But we re I think our job was really to kind of uh, create an environment where they could be in the moment because this is that type of material where the things that are happening to them are so profound uh, that the audience will pick it up immediately, you know? And also we're, the audiences are desensitized to, we see this and treat it so badly so often. So how do you, how do you make an audience really connect with the performance in that moment? It, it needs to be true. It needs to be really true. So I don't know where they go to get that. That's not really my job. Uh, how they do it, they, they have very, I, I get the feeling every actor has a different way of doing it, but my job is just to facilitate that. Um, and I think it was really important they were in the moment. So we did little, but that was not the focus. My next question is a little hypothetical question, but if this was not a series and it was a film, hmm. do you think your approach would have been different? Towards the actors? Just overall. Uh, no, I think not in spirit. Uh, because you think in series there are eight episodes in the series. It's time to establish, time to do that. The film is two hours of two hours. I'm not talking about the content only. Just, yeah. just overall impact. Um, uh, so I think the form would have been different. You know, we, this would not have worked. And the way we would have treated time and the way we would have treated... Um, uh, all that would, would have definitely changed. But the basic approach would have stayed, stayed the same, especially with regards to, to, to actors and uh, uh, the style of working and... Uh, um, yeah. So. Okay. So uh, uh, this is for both of you. When you read a script, uh, what is that comes to your mind? Uh, forget about that these people were living. Do you first see the physical aspect of the character, means in your mind, or do you want to go uh, in a mental uh, mental way of approaching the thing? script uh, I don't approach it with character. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, even then, uske bhi mein, hai, I'm going to be playing XYZ character. Uh -huh. But script is how it is, how it is. I need to be, see if I get absorbed in that world or not. And, I, and for me personally, I can do that better when I disassociate as an actor. Because hmm. then I'm not focused on my character. I'm focused on everything that makes this special or not special, mm. attractive or unattractive to me. Then if I like that world, that's when I start to look upon the character I'm being considered for and how he fits into that world. What is he contributing to that world? Because uh, then I know better. Okay, this character is passive or active. You know, I'm obviously more attracted to characters that are active uh, not just who are just responding, but then sometimes that can be fun. I did this film called Ek Chalis Ki Last Local where mm. he's passive. Everything yeah. just happening to him yeah. and he ends up with a lot of money, but it was funny. Right. So you, I see those things. Uh, relatability. How much do I relate? Because if you look at our traditional way of formulaic stuff, that, you know. Relatability, you, ke, matlab, I'm not trying to sort of make it easy for you to understand. I think ki aap, as an actor, Us character ke saath kitna relate kar rahe ho, uh, emotionally basically that's what you mean yeah like if it was the, the the regular formula where you know you have to be a hero you save the girl you beat up 10 guys you don't see those people in real life and mm. I don't relate to that but someone like Shekhar who I play who's just an average guy but he overcomes a David versus Goliath kind of story the system is strong and against him but yet he perseveres or even Dev D, when I wanted to contemporize it because I wanted to call out his chauvinism, his obsessive, destructive behavior, and how the women were much stronger and, and better characters than he was. And I've lived a life of destruction and obsession myself. So that was something relatable. In Oilaki, it was his ambition. You know, I, I, to make the, the kind of movies I made back 12, 14 years ago was ambitious because nobody wanted to make them. And even if you made them, nobody wanted to release them. 
So like that, I found something that I can relate to. Because when you find something you can relate to, it's a great place to start. It, you don't have to try hard to do something that is already a character of you. Yeah. And for me, the process is always the simplest solution is always the right solution. We tend to overcomplicate things. No, but he's depressed or he's wounded and he's lost this. But think about how you are when you are sad. You might have a cry and then you indulge in something to take that attention away. And you move on and things take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So you don't make a big deal out of things. So these are the things that I look for in character. But as far as story like this one, I will say in particular, I love the structure. I mean, that also takes some to eventually get an idea of script structure. and. It may not take you any time at all. It just depends. Some people have a talent for it. Uh, but I see the structure. I see the movement. I see how my character graph goes to the graph of the story. Um, in this case, the nonlinear was very attractive. How he chose to show the incident and the way he showed it, because I wasn't comfortable doing a true story like this and then showing the incident. But then how can you not have an impact if you don't show the incident? You, you kind of had to unfortunately show it as well. Like in Delhi Cram, they chose not to show the rape and it was good, they didn't need to. Whereas in this, to illustrate what these people went through and how you, it was avoidable, it highlighted it even more. So I could, I could see great care has been taken in writing this. Uh, great sensitivity has been considered while approaching it. So already I knew as an actor, I would not have to even ask those questions of my director. He's already sensitive, he's already not exploiting. So you see, like all these things come together in, in deciding for me. And there's Actually, a few more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like a couple of points uh, what uh, Abhay said is.